Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back to the Life with Lizzie show. I am Lizzie Morris, in case you don't know me, and I am so excited to have you here. On this podcast, we talk about whatever the heck we want to talk about, whether it be real life, uh, childhood trauma, marriage, confidence, literally eating disorders. We could talk about literally anything over here. That is what I want this platform to be, but I'm not even going to lie to you guys. After my first episode, the introduction episode, which if you haven't listened to that yet, you can go back and listen to it. I would highly suggest doing so before you listen to this one. I had so much great feedback and we actually got over 72 plays on that episode and I was completely shocked. I was not expecting that whatsoever. I was thinking I'd maybe get like 15 listeners at the most. And that was like if I sent it to people or like told my mom to go listen. (laughs) And it is sitting at 72 listens in less than a week. And that the, the feedback I was getting from friends and family just saying how natural I sounded and how, uh, it just, you know, sound like I'd have been doing it for years, which that is not me tooting my own horn because I was like freaking out thinking I didn't do the greatest job, but I got a lot of great feedback and that really helped boost my confidence. However, <laughs> not too long after I recorded that first episode, got it uploaded, did all the things I have literally struggled the last four or five days thinking of what to make my like first official episode. You know, we did the introduction, right? But now let's, it's time to get into the other things like real life and whatever I feel like talking about. And it's really crazy because people that know me in my real life or people that even know me through the internet, you know, I love to talk. Um, I talk about any and everything. I literally can't shut up sometimes, but what's really weird is sometimes I also go through phases where I don't talk at all. Um, I don't pick up the phone. I have not much to say. It's really odd how I can kind of switch back and forth. And I think that's like a whole other conversation we can have. But my point being is normally I, I do talk a lot in general. And these last couple of days, I have just sat here and thought, what am I going to make this first episode on? I obviously want to talk about any and everything. So it was kind of hard for me to niche down. What are we going to do that's going to impact somebody today? Well, let me tell y'all what I did this weekend. Okay, so the night, I think it was the same night that I had uploaded the podcast. If not, it was the next day. I started binge watching that new Netflix show called Made. And if you have not seen it, listen, I don't know if I want to recommend you go watch it just because I think that actually put me in somewhat of a mental funk the last couple days because of how on an extreme level, I related to the scenarios that were happening in the show that it literally made me cry multiple times. And yes, I'm pregnant, but honestly, I think it made everyone cry that watched that show. And it was just so real and raw. And so I want to suggest you watch it because it was such a good show, but also I don't know if I want to suggest you watch it because it literally, like I said, put me in somewhat of a like depressive moment uh, for the last couple days that I've been struggling to pull myself out of. And at the end of the day, I don't that is my dog scratching himself with his collar on. Oh my gosh, Bubby. With all that being said, um, I am going to tell you a little bit about the show and like what I got from it. And no, I'm not going to be some movie or TV show reviewer on this podcast, but the context of the show just struck me so deep that um, I think that's what I want to talk about today. So I'm going to try not to like spoil everything for you, but, um, so if you're wanting to go watch it and you don't want me to, ex- you don't want to hear me explain it cause you want to hear it for yourself, definitely go watch it and then come back to this podcast when you're finished and let me know what you think, um, about all the things that went down. But for those of you who are willing to listen and then you'll just watch it later, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. So essentially it is like a 10 episode for the season, but it is about a mom. She's a young mom with her daughter and she's in this abusive relationship, uh, like basically emotional abuse, some kind of physical abuse, throwing things, alcoholism, like all of those things kind of tied into one, um, anger issues, all the things. So in the beginning of the show, she wakes up, gets her daughter at like the butt crack of dawn and basically runs away from her abuser and that's how this show starts off and 
you watch this woman and her daughter go through the motions of single motherhood, of living on government assistance, going to domestic violence shelters, um, literally working her butt off to the bone just to make ends meet and then still not have any money, uh, dealing with horrible bosses and horrible people on her path that literally are doing nothing to help her. She has no support system. Um, and just watching that growing up, if you guys don't know, my mom, she had me at 15 years old. We grew up in poverty. Uh, we grew up around addiction, around alcoholism, around, um, abuse, uh, from people and watching that I was kind of set back and I just thought I could not imagine how my mom survived the things that she went through and just looking at you know what the daughter was having to do her the even she was only two or three years old during the show and when the abuse was happening when bad things were happening you know she would cope by going and hiding and you could just see the trauma going through these children and going through the mother and all of the things that this woman did to try to better her and her daughter's life. You know, I was a child in some of those situations, just like this show. You know, I was a child to a single mom. She ended up having three of us kids and I literally have zero clue how she made it. Just like the mom in the show. When you guys go watch the show, you'll see you just, you're like, how how do they do it? I don't know if any of you are listening, if you are a single mom or you have been a child to a single parent, um, know somebody who's went through these types of scenarios, but truly I have no idea how, number one, we made it with the roof over our head all the time. Number two, how we even had money to eat food. I, I genuinely don't know how we even had presents at Christmas time. Like looking back, and realizing the realities of what society does to, you know, young single moms or um, people that are on their own that have literally no support system. They make it incredibly hard for anybody to get help. They make it incredibly hard, you know, with the way wages are right now for people to have some type of comfortable living situation. That being said, you know, I would not change any of that. I, me and my siblings had this conversation, um, actually about a year ago, it was around Thanksgiving of last year. And we, we just said like, you know, I would never trade all of the deep things that we went through, seeing our mom be abused, seeing, um, the drug abuse and the, like I said, just all these things I've mentioned over and over, you guys know the story now, all the things that we witnessed and saw happen and were around are, I mean, mostly me, my, thank goodness, my younger two siblings haven't seen as much and they were so much younger and naive and whatever. Um, but just all the things that we went through, we would not change it for anything. And yes, it was hard. It was so hard living in poverty. It was hard not, you know, you couldn't, we couldn't even get a yearbook at school, you know, um, my mom could not afford to go on field trips with us. She couldn't take off work. Literally, she never took a day off work. But now, like I said, when me and my siblings have had this talk, like we would literally not trade our mom, number one. And I don't think most people would, but I would not trade my mom for any other person. Like, I don't care if she messed up. I don't care if she made mistakes. I don't care if like maybe our childhood wasn't the greatest all the time. I don't care. I would never trade my mom and the circumstances that we were put through with her for anything. Because even though at the time I looked at it as such a curse, I looked at my life as a curse. I thought I was like destined to just not have anything nice, not be anything, not amount to anything. I really thought that that was what my life was supposed to be because of how I grew up and all the things that I was surrounded by. But to see now being an adult, how my mom and all the things we went through shaped me and my siblings into the people that we are today. Gosh, you can't, money can't buy that you guys. And I, and I don't know where I'm going with this. Honestly, I know this is like literally all over the place, but I think my point is, is that 
you know, I still deal with trauma in some ways. I still struggle in my day-to-day life with mental health. I truly do. I turned out okay. Just going through all of the things, going through living in the ghetto, going through, you know, counting, you know, pennies to pay groceries, you know, being nervous that we're not going to pay the bills on time. Like I got through all that. And like I said, money cannot buy the character building that those traumatic events, if you can learn from it, grow from it, become a better person from it, and make a change not to allow yourself to settle for that, it could change you into becoming such a stronger, strong-minded, powerful person who has such a story to tell and inspiration to offer. And so I don't know if that was my point of saying all this to tell you guys, but watching that show, man, you watch this single mom go from inferior, you know, uh, she has no self-confidence. She, you know, obviously is strong-willed to some extent to be able to run away from her abuser, but she's struggling. And by the end of that show, you see her turn into a completely different person because character building can look like a lot of things. And I think personally that going through trauma, it is traumatic. <laughs> it it literally, um, it does things to our brain. It I, I would not doubt that the mental health problems that I have to this day are still, I would not doubt that they are stemmed from all the things I went through. You know what I'm saying? However, I also gained so much from it. I I gained perspective. I gained strength. I've gained compassion. I've gained empathy. I have gained gratefulness because I can tell you being at the bottom of the bottom, losing my dad to an overdose, being the fat girl in school, always getting picked on, having a food addiction, being around abusive addicts. I mean, literally all the things have given me this new perspective on life. I made it out. And I made it out stronger. So, I encourage you guys to go watch that show. <laughs> um, if you think you can emotionally handle it. I don't even think I, w- I can emotionally handle it still. Like, I'm, I'm considering binging it again, even though I think that's total self-sabotage. Because <laughs> it was just one of them things where watching it, you felt like when you cried, you felt release is what it was. Like, when I cried for this girl, like, I just felt like I was releasing some built-up emotions that I had personally. Um... And so, I don't know what we'll call this episode, character building 101. <laughs> Use your trauma to, to help you level up in life. Because um, you can. You definitely can. Um, what might seem like your punishment might just be your blessing. And it's very, very extremely difficult. I'm not here to sit there and say, oh, just think positive and all these things. Because no, it is literally so difficult to see the other side when you're in the shit. You know, it is so hard to see the rainbow in the storm. Like, you can't. <laughs> you you genuinely can't. And until you've been through so many storms, you will get to a point where the next storm, you know there's a rainbow waiting on you. You just, but it, it's not that easy at first. Um, and so that's why, like I said, even though I've been struggling mentally in the last couple months, uh, I know that the rainbow is waiting on me um, when I get past this and... I know that whatever I'm going through right now is building my character to another level that I need to do more in life and to help more people and whatever the case may be. So I hope this helps somebody. Uh, If you do end up uh, listening to the whole thing, I guess and you are since you made it to this point, um, please screenshot in your Instagram or Facebook stories. You can tag me at Lizzie and Little. L-I-Z-Z-Y-A-N-D-L-I-T-T-L-E. And I will give you a shout out. I do appreciate every single one of you that listen and are taking time out of your day to just hear me blab my thoughts because that's what this is for. And I feel very therapeutic just being able to talk and uh, get my get my thoughts out on audio. So I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. And I will see you on the next episode. Bye.